Hello, my name is Trevor Ram, and today I will be presenting on Cynthia Cooper, the former Vice President of Internal Audit at WorldCom, who blew the whistle on a large accounting fraud there in the early 2000s. As I go through my presentation, I'll discuss how she blew the whistle and the ways in which she uh, followed both the IMA's ethical conflict resolution statement and some of the advice given by Dr. Badaracco in his article entitled, We Don't Need Another Hero. The ways in which Ms. Cooper followed the IMA ethical conflict resolution statement are twofold. Firstly, um, she went ahead and discussed the large issues that she found with her direct supervisor, uh, who was the CEO of WorldCom at the time, Scott Sullivan. Now, finding that Mr. Sullivan was somewhat, not somewhat, but actually totally complicit in committing the fraud that she was uncovering, Miss Cooper then went ahead to the audit committee and discussed with them um, the discrepancies in accounting that she found Mr. Sullivan to be perpetrating within WorldCom. So the other thing that Miss uh, Cooper did was she followed very well some of Dr. Badaracco's advice in two ways. The first way was that she bent the rules but did not break them during the course of her investigation. Miss Cooper's team often was working late, uh, odd hours in order to keep their investigation concealed from Mr. Sullivan and others in WorldCom. Another thing that they did was somewhat circumvent the IT controls in order to access uh, WorldCom's accounting systems in order to uh, further their investigation. The second way in which Ms. Cooper um, followed Dr. Badaracco's advice was in picking her battles. She chose to engage with Mr. Sullivan only when the audit committee of WorldCom could authoritatively rule on the discrepancies that she was bringing up and the frauds that she was exposing. And in fact, she did this so effectively that it led to Mr. Sullivan's uh, forced resignation by the audit committee. And so um, because she followed the IMA conflict resolution doctrine, as well as the um, the advice of Dr. Badaracco, I feel that Ms. Cooper was a very effective and ethical whistleblower from whom we can all learn a lot. Thank you.